Hey, what's up guys? My name is Faison and in this video, we'll be going over how you can perfectly aim your mousetrap vehicle. So if you're competing in the event or just interested in the concept as a whole, make sure you stay tuned until the end to get the most value out of this video. Before we get into the video, make sure you leave a like on the video if you enjoy it. Drop any questions or feedback in the comments below. And please consider subscribing to the channel because I post new videos about science, technology, and engineering every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. And with that said, let's roll the tape. All right guys, so as you know, getting your car to be as accurate as possible is by far the most important aspect of mousetrap vehicle. So in order to get your car to be super accurate, you may have already been trying to create some sort of aiming mechanism to improve that accuracy. So right now, I'm just going to go over three of the best types of aiming mechanisms physically possible that you could implement onto your mousetrap vehicle. Now, before you even look at any of these uh, aiming mechanisms, you have to have some sort of target block that you can put at the target point so that you can use your aiming mechanisms and calibrate your car. Now, with that said, we can look at this target, target block, excuse me, target block I have, and I have this black line in the middle of it. And this is the center of the target point. And then I have this yellow tape here and then this red tape right here. So the reason I have these, this red and yellow tape is that it makes it a lot easier to be able to aim your car at long distances because it's a lot easier to, to view red and yellow because when you're at that far distance, you're not able to see this thin line very clearly. So if you're trying to make a target block, try to do something like this so that's easier to see your target block at a long distance. But with the target block aside, let's look at the best type of aiming mechanism and that is laser pointers. Now, laser pointers, you can get them pretty cheap. I got this one at the dollar store, and you know, they are by far the best laser, excuse me, best type of aiming mechanism because they remove the most amount of human error from aiming mechanisms because it's all machine. If I look at this target block and I aim it at there, I know exactly where it's going to go, and I know that it's super accurate because it's all machine made it's all machine done now the thing with this is that most science olympiad competitions i know in the years past they did allow it but they are becoming more strict against these so you probably aren't going to be able to use it but it's always a good idea to just check again and make sure that they do allow or don't allow the use of electronics which this is so if they don't allow electronics for aiming then you cannot use it otherwise you're good to go now the, the next best, excuse me, the next best thing besides laser pointers are rifle scopes. And I know there are a lot of people out there who think that they just can't get a rifle scope. It's $100, it's too much. No, they are not that expensive. If you're looking at going, especially to the national scale, then I think it's a little bit uh, worth your while to invest in a rifle scope or some sort of scope because they do provide that high level of accuracy. You can look through this and you can see this, this very thin line very clearly at that 12 meter point. So, and you could also get these pretty cheap. I got this one at, for, excuse me, for about $10 on Amazon, free shipping. So, you know, you can get rifle scopes pretty cheap. It just depends how, where you look. So, the only thing about this is that you have to make some sort of a uh, holder on your mousetrap vehicle so that you can place it on your car, aim, and then remove the scope from your car because if you don't remove the scope from your car, it's just an extra 100 grams or 200 grams and that's going to reduce your car's speed. But the budget option to both of these that works just as well is to use some sort of slit, like slit guide mechanism. So basically I have two opaque sheets one here and one here and then between them I have some sort of slit and there's a slit in the front and a slit in the back and you look through both slits and you align it with this red to yellow piece right here you try to get it as close to this black line as possible and as you do that you are able to make up a system 
and you should be able to aim your car pretty well. So in this moment here, I'm going to be going over how to actually aim your car using all of these three mechanisms. But if you want more information about either of these mechanisms I talked about, then make sure you check out my website. The link to that will be in the description below. All right, so right, what you're looking at right now is a view of a target that's not really 12 meters away, but it's a little bit closer. But you should be able to get the same concept. And you'll see on my car, I just put this laser pointer right here on it, and we're just going to use that to demonstrate how aiming with a laser pointer would work. So what you would do is you would basically just hit the laser pointer button, and then you would um, get it set up real quick. Yeah, you basically just turn it on, and then you try to move your car left and right to aim it with that laser pointer until that laser pointer hits the center line and then you would pull off the target block and then you should be able to launch your car and then calibrate it from there. But then you, if you wanted to use a rifle scope, you just, I move this car up here, you just make some sort of bridge between these two pieces right here to put that scope on there and then you want to make sure you're looking from the back end so I have the front label here just so I know and then I just put the, I put it on the little mount and then aim that so that this car is aligned with that target point and then the same thing is true with the slit mechanism so I would look through this, look through this point right here and then sort of align it and then afterwards launch the car. All right, so let's say you just ran your car, and after running your car, you found that your car was this distance away, which is probably roughly 30 to 40 centimeters in, 30 to 40 centimeters in length. So if you wanted to adjust for this and you wanted to make it so your car ends up here instead of here, all you would do is you would take this 40 to 30 centimeter difference. I don't have a ruler on me, so I'm not gonna measure that. And then you just move that, move the target that distance away from the target point. So let's say that this is 30 centimeters away from here. So I would measure 30 centimeters this way and then put the target block there. And that's going to account for it. So next time I run my car and aim at this target, the car is going to come in and it's going to end up where I want it, right there. So if you understand this or you want a little bit more information on this, make sure you check out my website. Again, link to that will be in the description below. If you're looking to find more information on the topic, make sure you hit the first link in the, in the description below. It will take you to a post I made on my website so that you can learn more about different types of aiming mechanisms and how you can improve your current system. But with that said, if you enjoyed the video, please be sure to leave a like, drop any questions or feedback in the comments below. Follow me on social media. The links to those will be in the description below as well. Or you can find my tags on the screen right now. And please consider subscribing to the channel because I post new videos like this every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. And I'll catch you guys next time. Stay unfazed.